Okay, we're back on set at the Apache Max, and uh, we're doing some electrical work today, getting things sorted out under the hood as far as engine wiring and our data logger setup. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, why do you need a data logger? Isn't it just a show truck? Uh, sure is pretty. Well, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> we, are, we are planning to, to sled pull this truck, and for that reason, we need good data sets from each pull so that we can improve on our combination as the season goes on. Now, EFI Live alone gives us great data from the engine sensors. We get uh, timing, boost, fuel pressure, how well the pumps work, and all sorts of good stuff. The stuff that we don't get is how well our intercooling systems work, our exhaust gas temperatures, and uh, pressures from our uh, turbocharger system. And those are the things that we're going to be really focused on improving as the season goes on. So for that reason, we've elected to use Fleece's XDL data logger system, and that's a system that piggybacks into EFI Live and allows us to add external uh, inputs so we can keep track of the turbocharging system and the stuff that EFI Live does not keep track of. So let me show you where the XDL box goes, and that's uh, just this box down here on the, on the fender wells. We have mounted in the Apache, and this will plug right into our EFI Live V2, and then from there we can plug a USB cord into our computer to pick up that external data. And then uh, let me take you around the truck and show you what kind of sensors we have on it so you can get an idea of the kind of data that we're capturing. Okay, so as far as keeping track of the boost system on the truck, we have two main sensors that we're gonna be looking at. And one of them is this temperature probe. And this is gonna tell us how hot the uh, compressed air coming out of the turbocharger is, and then how hot the air is as it comes out of the intercooler. We have one probe here on the compressor discharge and then we have another probe right here before that air goes into the intake and the other type of probe we're going to be using is a pressure transducer and these are 0 to 100 psi or 0 to 300 psi depending on what you get and that we have one of these right here for uh, manifold air pressure as it goes into the y bridge that's going to tell us how much boost that turbocharger is making as it goes down the track in order to find out the balance of the turbocharger we need to not only know boost pressure we need to know drive pressure and for that reason we have another bung on the exhaust manifold down here and that bung is hooked up to a copper coil which is going to cool exhaust gas off and run to another pressure transducer that's going to tell us exhaust back pressure as we change turbochargers throughout the season we'll be able to tell which one works better where in the rev range and which one's more efficient based on those numbers okay so the thing that you're really going to like about this kit is that not only does it come with some OEM grade sensors, some really nice stuff, it also comes with the pigtail connectors and the bungs. So everything you need to set the system up. You got these weather protected locking connectors. This is nice stuff. You know, after a few years, scotch locks and uh, wire nuts tend to cause problems. These don't. You have your control box, you have your main harness plugs. These main harness plugs plug into the control box. And then you have your serial uh, deal that runs off of that and goes into the EFI Live unit. Another cool feature for sled pullers or drag racers is the, uh, the GPS. So wheel speed is not indicative of ground speed when you're sled pulling, and oftentimes when you're spinning the tires drag racing, that's also a problem. Having actual ground speed of the vehicle is a really nice thing to have. They have a GPS unit that takes uh, is a very high sample rate, It'll pick up the ground speed of the vehicle over a 20 second pass or a 10 second pass, depending on what sort of competitive atmosphere you're in, and uh, give you that data that you need to make sure your gear ratio is right, make sure the truck is working in the RPM band that it needs to be. Bottom line, this is a really nice system, ties in with EFI Live, OEM quality stuff, and it's gonna allow us with the Apache Max to see what the truck is doing down the track in a consistent way. So we'll be able to take data all throughout the season Compare that data as we go through the season, make some changes, see are those changes working, change some parts, see is the boost doing what we want it to do, is the temperature coming down, is the truck running in an efficient way, and hopefully we can get the truck running a lot better as we go through the season and uh, you know, share those parts with you as we develop them. I'm Nick, thanks for watching.